Okay, you know what? I'll just do this. Put this back here. Grab this. And put you right here. Okay. So, hello, YouTube fans. This is the Scar Clown. Hopefully, you can hear me better. This is on my phone. So, hopefully, it, I don't know what's on with the laptop. I think it's because when I cover this, it just, it, the sound goes away. Which is stupid. It is. It's stupid. It shouldn't be that way. But moving on. Hello, my brothers and sisters. Hello, hello, hello. How you guys being, basically? I just got out from the beach, to be quite honest. Well, yesterday. Yesterday, I went to the beach. I took a nice tan and everything like that. Hell yeah, man. Seriously. And, you know, and get... And then cleanse yourself, too. You know, I didn't went inside the um the water or anything like that. I mean, it was cold. It was freezing. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> I like it when it's a little warmer, guys. I don't want it to be fucking freezing. <laughs> I literally, every time I walk up to her, I'm like, how is this Titan today? Oh, oh, you're cold as a motherfucker. Uh, there's no reason for it. It should be warm. You know, it should be welcoming, basically. But uh, that's just me, man. Uh, I know some people, I mean, my brother-in-law got used to it eventually and everything like that. But uh, it should be, you know, cool enough to feel like it's you're not freezing to death. I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> um, that's just me. I mean... Where it, where it's at, where the beach that I went to is literally next to, uh, is literally the Arctic Ocean. So there's that. There is that. <laughs> so moving on. I want to talk about a little bit of more of myself, to be honest. Uh, I know some people might be like, oh, this is just this ego or, or some shit like that. But no, I want to point out something because this is something I've always been noticing. And at least for me. As a person that, you know, tap to myself and learn more about myself. Um, half the things out here that I've noticed, obviously, they're about you people. They're about us, obviously. Duh. But when you see something and you know they're talking about you. And then at first you might be like, ah, I don't know. But then you keep seeing more proof of it. The universe starts showing you it. Also. So you be like. Do these motherfuckers. Like. It, it's, it's a thing that. Hey. Let's not have these people wake up. Or not have. For, okay let's give an example. Let's not have a person wake up. A certain type of person. But then they're going to keep showing what that person can do or what that person can do. And then you also see um, what face they, behind, they put behind it sometimes. Sometimes, you know, they, they use a Caucasian and all that and stuff like that. Even though it's supposed to be for us. Um, in, my, in, that, in that video that I did recently talking about like movies and stuff like that, I forgot to mention that O.J. Simpson was the original Terminator before Arnold Schwarzenegger. So look at that. Look at that. Alright? Look at that. Originally, Terminator was a brother, basically. And that's what they were going to tell you right there, flat out. They flat out just told you that right there. And they took that shit out. They were like, yeah, nah. <laughs> you know, some people are like, oh, it's because of this and all that. I'm like, nah, it's really mostly because, nah, we're not going to fucking tell people this. It's literally that. That's the core root. It's always been the core root. And if you don't think that, something's wrong with you, man. At this point. We're in 2024, man. We're in 2024. As you get older, as you start seeing so, certain things, you should tell yourself something's odd here. Something's not, something's fishy here. And it's the same thing with some of the stuff that I've seen that resonate with me, but it, it, it's not even just resonation, um, resonated with me. It's to the point that's flat out there to the point that I'm like, no, we're talking about you guys. We're talking about you, specifically you. And then when you tell some people this, They'd be like, oh, that's just you, man. You're just seeing that because, you know, it's your world. I, I get it. Be the co you know, you're the co-creator of your reality. I get it. I get it. Of course. I've always said that too. You're the co-creator of your reality and nothing can change that. Even if you, even if you haven't meditated for a long, long time, for example, like you fell off of, of doing this stuff, basically, then you went back to it or some shit like that, right? As long as you remember that you are the co-creator of your reality, no one, no one, Look at me. No one is not going to fuck with you. No one. 
They can even try to attack you down, but they don't try to hit you. Why they didn't hit you? Why they didn't hit you? They they attack you. I mean, they didn't. They attacked you in a way that they didn't hurt you, but they just grabbed you in a way like you on the floor basically. But they didn't like. But you didn't felt no pain or anything like that, and they didn't do really anything. They're just going like this. You know, boys will be boys basically. Something you know, like that. You know how boys play rough house and all that shit. It's like that basically. Because you, because you know, boys will punch obviously. But when when something like that happens, when they grab you and it's just going like this. You, you got to question that too. You'd be like, well, I didn't get punched. I didn't get hit. I almost could have got this, but it didn't happen. So, another thing <coughs> that I wanted to emphasize too, the more I was talking about it and decided to, decided to talk about something else a little bit though, is that everywhere I go, these beings are literally either showing me that they know about me because they've been showing that to me that they've been knowing about me so, like the more I look back the more I'm like these motherfuckers have been telling me they know me since I was a child it's not be and it's not because oh you know they're showing a, a, a Superman or a Batman no I'm I'm seriously telling you when they show a clown on TV or, or on or on some type of shit Anything media wise, somehow it's always goes straight to me. And that's why back in, remember back in the, I don't know if it was in 2016 or some shit, when they were doing that clown stuff and everyone was freaking out about clowns and shit like that. Even that back then, when I was looking at that, I'm like, are they really doing this because of me? Because you guys know what I look like in the astronaut, well, man. Like, I've, there's one picture right there, one f um, form I used to be before I evolved more. You guys know what's the other one. Let me show it to you anyways, just in case. Because <laughs> I always got to show it to people just in case if they, you know, haven't seen it or just they just come by. You know, new subscribers and shit like that. You know, you, you never know. Obviously, I recently drew this. I thought this, when I drew this perfectly the way I did, I was in shock. I was like... Holy shit, this looks like something you can actually see in a Warner Brothers animation or something. That's just me when I saw it. But obviously. I added this, obviously, because I was originally like this. When I turned into, you know, 500 meters. But now the tail is detached. It's not there anymore. It's basically, as you saw in the previous pictures. You know, that's what the tail looks like now. And I can use my tail... And put my monster plushies behind me, and they can be added behind me. They can, they can fight alongside me, obviously. But um, it, when I become like a titan, like a uh, monster, basically, I could use it as a tail, as you know from the previous picture that I uploaded with that song, which which that song is from um Ultraman, the newest movie that came out not that long ago, not the new movie that came out on Netflix. Even though that one's getting a lot of attention, and I've been wanting to see that movie too. Uh, I know a lot of people have been watching that one show on Netflix that everyone, like every um, brother and sister has like superpowers and shit like that. Yeah. When I, when, I haven't seen the show. My mom was watching and she got addicted to that shit. I was watching it for like bits and pieces of it and I was over here like, <laughs> I was laughing my ass off. You know why? Because now they have no choice but to show you it because now it's going to happen. They have no choice but to show you it. They have no choice but to show you it. They have no choice. I don't know. Um, have you noticed that as the days and months go by, we've been seeing more of so-called Afro people being on the TV screen more and more? That's for a reason. That's for a reason. And they're fading, you know, white people out, basically, quote-unquote. They're not fading them out, but I'm saying they, they put it on the sidelines for this because it's not that movie. They might be in it, and some of them could be a friend or a foe, depending what the story they make of the freaking movie or show, because that's how it is, obviously. 
That's just how it is, guys. That's just how it is. Um, because they're gonna do that anyways. But they will always have one one character that goes against, you know, us. <laughs> it's always been that way, anyways. So, going back to what I said too, besides that show, um, what is it called? Soups or some something like that? Super or some shit? But I haven't I haven't even been watching the new, the boy season. My friend has been telling me, hey, hey, have you watched it? I'm like, I haven't watched it. And I've been seeing pictures of it online, and I'm over here like, stop showing me this shit. And most, for the most part, I'm not getting that much spoilers at all, so there's that. But, as a as a viewer, I guess. But, overall, I don't know if I am going to watch it anytime soon. Because there's, there's just other stuff that I'm doing right now. <laughs> you know? Um, I'm looking at, you know, Remy Nature's videos. You know, I'm, I'm re-watching some of the Serious Tempos videos. Um, just to get, you know, more of a refresher and stuff like that. Because, again, so much knowledge and so much wisdom to the point that it's like sometimes you might forget because there's so much. That's why we made a whole bunch of books back then. <laughs> okay? It wasn't just one freaking book. Are you crazy? We had a lot of books. And mostly all those books were people experiences. And you'd be like, yo, that happened to me. Oh, shit, that happened to you? Oh, oh that's cool. You know, something like that. You know, and then you can learn from that experience or some shit like that. It just depends. It just depends. Um, if you're looking through the library that these wicked ones cannot go to at all they can never go to that library they have tried and they failed they failed and it's funny that they tried because what <laughs> i don't know why they tried to do it to like a physical person you gotta like if that's like saying we can do it to you no we can't we can't even do that I mean, maybe we could. Maybe we could try. But at the same time, it's like, why would we go through your Akashic Records? That's your fucking privacy. I, I'm sure there's like a universal law that goes to that stuff. I'm sure there is. Some people, I know we, thought, we always think about pure imagination and all that stuff, but there's rules. There's rules in the cosmos, man. There's rules in the cosmos that we we, we will have to abide by, man. Cause some, cause majority we haven't. <laughs> okay, seriously. So, what else can I talk about here? Um, so I'm just feeling this right here. I don't know if it's just my chest or something. Probably not. I don't know. I don't think about it too much. So there's that. So. What else could I uh, could say, man? Um, going back to what I was saying earlier that I, keep, I don't want to forget. Again, they always keep talking about me, man. They always keep talking about me. They always keep showing me and stuff like that. And if they're not even showing a clown character, they're going to have a character that uses lightning and stuff like that. And not something that you see in um, Black Lightning. Not Nothing like that. I'm talking about like... Something you see, like, literally what Luffy was doing in One Piece. Sorry, I just I just was looking at something. I'm like, what was that? So, I've been... I don't know. There's, there's just th some things around here that I'm looking at. I'm already here like, what the fuck going on? Things are changing around us, guys. It is. Ch things are changing around us. Because things are, like, doing things. A lot of things are happening here. You're going to be like... Like, they feel like little tiny portals coming out. That's why I'm, every time something I see something in the back of my eye, I'm all like, what is that? Then it just disappears. So, no, maybe it's just your eyes. Eh, maybe it's just her face. No. <laughs> just joking. But, when, uh, okay, for example, with the Joker stuff. When Joker came out, the movie The Joker, what was that, in 2017, I believe, right? Or 2019 or some shit? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't fucking know. So when they were doing the Joker movie, everyone was talking crap about it. Not, 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 well, certain people were talking crap about it because they knew what the movie was about, basically. And over in, in Hong Kong, I believe, right? Over in China? In, in Hong Kong, they're fighting with China because Hong Kong is its own thing, basically. And by 2045, basically, they're going to be part of China. And Hong Kong does not want that. They don't want it. They want to be their own thing and all that stuff, basically. This is what we were hearing, right? Back then. And 
you know what they were wearing to protest and all that? The Joker face. Literally the Joker. The least slick Joker with um, Joaquin Phoenix. They were wearing that type of makeup. And when I saw that makeup, all, I'm, all I kept thinking was, was just me. Because when I saw the Joaquin Phoenix Joker, I was just like, that's literally, like, I literally have, for kind of like, it's the same fucking thing that I have when I made a mask. And it has the fucking lines and everything like that. It's the same shit. I had that. And it's only here. You know, I'll show it to you right now, guys. It's not. It's literally right here. I see it in the background. And here it is. Look at that. 30, 31 years old and I'm doing this stuff. <laughs> it's literally like this. You see how it had the lines and everything like that? And the smile and shit like that? It was the same fucking shit. When I saw that... I literally was telling my mom, should I sue them? <laughs> because it's the same shit. It was the same shit. When I saw that, they they couldn't help themselves when I first saw that. I was like, you guys couldn't help yourselves, couldn't you? You literally had to use my face in this, in, in this new Joker movie. You literally had to use my face. I'm dead serious. They did. I'm not playing with you. I just show, I just gave you proof right here when I make I make this mask and you know this mask is freaking old. This is old. This is an old mask. I used to I used to use this mask to introduce myself in my um in my main channel when I make like you know video game reviews and movie reviews and all that stuff or me just talking about life you know. So not in this channel. I'm not doing that in this channel. This is something else. So, but again, look how fucked up it is, man. Just to show you how long I've been having it. You know? And I've been... This is made from a binder. <laughs> and I made it into a mask. And I can see right through it. So, look at that. Obviously, I did evolve out of this. I don't look like this, obviously. <laughs> so, many of my um, evolutions over the years. So, there was that. So, and this... This right here. This doctor mask right here this doctor face right here was also in peewee's big adventure so if you watch that movie there's a part when it has a whole bunch of freaking clowns because peewee had like an accident or some shit oh yeah he was on a motorcycle and then he got into an accident shit, stuff like that and um and that movie is a gem that movie is literally telling you to never lose the sight of your child at heart that's really what the movie is man it really is it is. Some movies are just like that. Some movies are there to just literally tell you, do not forget just to be a kid, man. Like, not literally be a kid, kid, but like, don't forget to have a good time. Don't forget to enjoy yourself, you know? And goof around and stuff like that, you know? Don't take life too seriously. <laughs> Something that all the Hayonkas have told other people, don't take life too seriously. And it's true. Don't take life too seriously. All the great Hayonkas have said this. I'm not, you know, I'm not the only one that said it. But the reason I'm, I'm, these beings are so fucking terrified of me is because I am the Hayonka. The Hayonka. The sacred clown. Something that they did not want to come. They did not want a being like me to come over here. They know how strong I am. They know how strong I am. At first, when they saw me, they were like, what? And then they saw my fucking records and they heard stories about me and they were like, no. 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 They even saw me in action sometimes. And they definitely were like, no. And I was like, yes. I'm dead serious. You guys have no idea how crazy I go to with these guys. You guys have no fucking idea. You guys have no idea. You guys have no idea. I recently just heard that another name for Quetzalcoatl was Happy. And I'm over here laughing and, and being happy destroying these motherfuckers. I'm not saying that or anything like that. But then when I watch fucking One Piece also and it mentions Joy Boy and all that shit, I'm looking at all of this. I'm over here like, what the fuck, man? You can't fuck. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm over here saying that, nah. like, like I know, I know, I like this stuff and it resonates with me to a point, but not to the, but but it's it's going to the point right now that you are showing me that this is fucking me and me, 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 
it's because it's impossible for 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 not to be that case. Even I at first was just like, uh, it's not that. But then my higher self kept poking me in, in the in my head, being like, look at this that shit. And I'm like, ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, no, I'm dead serious. My higher self could, <laughs> could be like that to me. To be like, look, you little, look at it. <laughs> Sometimes pulls my hair too. I'm like, ah. <laughs> Uh, and then I'll be like, oh, oh, I see. <laughs> oh, man. I love the relationship that I have with my higher self. It is literally anime type of goofiness. I'm dead serious. It's that funny. It's that type of funny. Uh, love thyself, man. Love thyself. I'm dead serious, man. If you can't have fun with you, if you can't enjoy thyself, then I, what are we doing here? <laughs> what are we doing here? Seriously, I know it's to, to to get rid of these motherfuckers, but what we're going to do after that, man? Of course, build and all that, make, make that up. And but but, come on, man. Anything else? <laughs> you know? You, come on, man. It's just that's just me, man. That's just, that's just a brother talking to to be like, yeah, man. You know, there's going to be a lot more than this, obviously. You know, but we're just sc scratching the surface, and it's so and it's so great. You know, it's like let's discuss that. <laughs> You know, uh, that's just me. That's just me. So, the, the best part about when I saw all of this is that I knew what it was. I couldn't deny it. Again, going back to my house, I was like this. I couldn't deny it. I couldn't deny it. And when I went to Mama to talk about it, she stood shut. She smiled and stood shut. Cause she knew how, she she may be the way she is, literally. She knows what she she knows what she created, basically. Have you ever heard those stories about beings that were born around a time before? I don't know, like so, so, some something. How do I how, how do I how do I explain this actually? You know, there was, when there's a certain age, and then there's a certain group of that age that grew up around that time that was known to literally the, be the most powerful beings of all time, that even no one could arrive with them, basically. And they were created by the mom herself, basically. I've always thought about that a long long time ago but i didn't know what it was and everything like that that was like before i got into myself and everything like that so when i really thought about it here not that long ago that's why this video is being played right now when i thought about it i was just like you know so it, it, and <laughs> And the thing is, like, going back to what I said, it's sometimes they don't even use a clown when they represent me. For kind of loud, these early Godzilla movies just showed, just, just showed you what I do, do in the Astrodome. And I'm looking at them like, what is it, Godzilla vs. Khan? Not Godzilla x Khan, but Godzilla vs. Khan. I'm over here looking at it like, everything that Godzilla did in that movie, I have done in the Astrodome. Everything that he has done in that movie. When I was literally watching the movie the first time, I'm over here like, I don't feel like I don't have to fucking watch this movie because everything he's doing, I've I've done this shit already. <laughs> Plenty of times. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Sometimes they're obsessed with me, man. These people are obsessed with me. And they can't figure out what's what what what's with me. You can't. Still to this day, they'd be like, what the fuck, like, what, what possesses the cosmos to create a being like this, basically? They're like that. And I've said this before, and I've said it again, I've posted in my community page. What happens when be beings out there are so, so bad that they create something that they're not, so that they w wasn't suspecting? It's a cause and effect, man. You do something so terribly, automatically something is going to be created 
to balance that out to the point that it's going to be the other thing is going to be destroyed if it's literally harming stuff really bad it's just how it is you know why because that's nature okay and i've thought about that for years even when i was a little freaking kid man when i was even when i started thinking about these wicked motherfuckers and this disgusting shit that they've done i'm only here like i'm only here like something this bad created something this bad to the point that it created something to fucking balance it out to the freaking destroy it, and it's hungry and it's pissed off because this shit is out here the reason it's hungry and pissed off is because it feels mama it feels his mom it feels his mom's vibration and and if she's angry he's angry so all of that adding up when i realized that shit was like holy crap me basically it it, it took a while for me to like accept uh, uh, um uh, like accept it it took me a while because I told myself plenty of times, I'm like, I can't, like now, obviously, I look at it and I'm over here like, wow. But at the time, man, I was just like, could this really be me? You know, could this really be me? Knowing who you are is the most important thing in the world, man. This is why they're scared of you, man. Kind of loud. Sometimes I, I haven't seen them in a while. Sometimes when I walk outside, helicopters just follow me every day, man. They follow me every day. They even wait for me to get out of the restaurant for them to still follow me. I'm dead fucking serious, man. I'm dead serious. I'm not stupid. To anyone else, they fucking freak out. But if I tell anyone else too, they'll be like, oh my God, stop making YouTube videos. And I'm over here like, it doesn't even fucking matter if I make YouTube videos or not. You see? It still doesn't fucking matter. YouTube is just more of exposure for them to be like, oh, okay, we have one here. You know? It's, that's just really it. That's just really it. And the thing is, they know there's more of us around here that are quiet as hell. And we haven't made one single YouTube video at all whatsoever. And you, oh my God, those beans, man. Those beans are ready to kick your ass, man. They are ready to kick your ass as I am, man. And the reptilian king, I don't know if he's the reptilian king, but maybe he's one of. But this reptilian king, you know, that hurt mama, I'm going to kick his ass. <laughs> When I found out the whole shit about Marduk, um, I've said this before and I said it again too. I don't care if this motherfucker apologized. He slashed my mind in half. That, that's not going to like, that might work for you, but it's not going to work for me. That's just saying, I'm just saying that right now. I'm just saying that right now. Maybe, maybe this is probably putting a target on me because all you freaking orcs love this motherfucker. It's same thing with his dad, but his dad, but his dad doesn't want nothing to do with you guys, which is, because <laughs> uh, you're fucking crazy. You're fucking crazy. And Marduk, we still see animation. And movies about him. Not that long ago, the Ghostbusters movie talked about him. The new Ghostbusters movie that just came out? I haven't seen that movie, but I've seen pictures of it. And I saw the ghost that they use. I'm over here like, that's Marduk. Even my intuition was like, that's Marduk. Even sometimes when I be like, ah, oh, is that Marduk? No, that's the first thing that comes to your head, man. You always gotta, rem you always gotta remind yourself of that. Okay? It's the most important thing, man. You got to, man. The first thing that pops in your head is most likely that. 
in here and then you see all frozen stuff happening making it all iced and shit like that what do you think that comes from man they told you this in the book of dante's inferno baby the, the, and they told you this in King of Dora, um, Godzilla, um, King of the Monsters 2019, when King of Dora is an ice. The devil has three heads. Does Marduk have three heads? Well, I don't know. Maybe he, when he transforms, I guess, right? <laughs> I guess. I guess. But I've, I've always heard he had eyes. So you can always, uh, he had multiple eyes basically surrounding all that shit. So that can go to the multiple head type shit. Because you can have one here, then here. You know? So that. Is like duh, you know. So when when I put that two together a long time ago, I was like, yeah, that that would probably make the most logical sense. <laughs> uh, that's just me. That's just me. Uh, but hey, if you want to correct me if I'm wrong, go ahead. I'm I'm open to it. I'm fucking open to it. I am. I say that right now. But um, I guarantee you though, Mordek is gonna get a hell of a pay. He's probably, again, going back, he's probably not the and all that, King Reptilian and all that shit. I don't give a fuck. This motherfucker needs to be stopped at any cause, and I don't want no, and if someone else already did it for me, that's not going to satisfy with me. Ask Mama. I'm dead serious. Ask TMI herself. Ask TMI herself. She's literally going to tell you that he, he's not going to kill. He still wants to fu fucking kill him. <laughs> He, not kill him, but fucking destroy him. Lock him up in chains and shit like that or something. I don't fucking know. Because this motherfucker... This... This... I remember looking at some of the statues I've seen of him. They also do it with Moloch. Like, I, there's, I've seen some statue on, on Google where... It, it's probably not even a thing. It, probably I saw it differently. But there was one picture of Marduk, and then when you scroll down, you see a picture of Moloch. And then there's another picture of Marduk in the bottom, too. The other thing I was going to say that's probably most likely gone is that I saw a statue of Marduk, and then when it flipped around, it had Modok, Mo basically. So I, I think that one's not true. But um, because I don't want to receive people like that so if you find one that is like that let me know because when i saw it for the first time i'm like i don't want to say that it is because i didn't look at it right because i was just scrolling looking at it and you could probably see something was in the back but i didn't know if it was that anyways you know so i couldn't really judge you know so then i saw that in the bottom and it just looked familiar to it so that's why i was kind of like uh but no most likely it's not um but when i saw those it was just like Again, going back, like, the universe and these beings are showing me who they are. I mean, who I am. It's like, thank you. Uh, like, obviously, I thank Mama, always. But for these wicked ones, it's like, thank you for reminding me just who the hell I am, basically. These, these, we all know that these beings don't have time anymore, man. They don't have no more time. There is no more time for them, man. There isn't. There is it. There's there's no more there's no more time for them. And it's gonna be over for them soon. Again, watch Redman H's videos and shit like that, but it's gonna be over for them soon. It's gonna be fucking over. And you're gonna see your brothers and sisters. You're gonna see your brothers and sisters. You're going to see a lot of them. You're going to see a lot of different ones. Different forms of carbon. Different types of carbon that you think are not carbon, but they are. <laughs> you know? Because there's so many different beings out here. I'm dead serious. There's so many different beings out here that you guys can't fathom. It's just scratching the surface. You know, we're scratching the surface when we're talking about, you know, reptilians and orcs and... um um, um and greys. We're just scratching the surface. Alright? The other scratch of the surface is the, the great old ones, which is most is is us. And then some of them are not. Some of them are still out there. And we haven't seen them in a long time. And, and they're gonna pop out. 
going to see some Cthulhu type shit, baby. I'm dead serious, man. They showed you, they showed you this in the um, in the um, what was it um in the Apocalypse short um, shoe commercial trailer of a uh, Foot Locker, I believe, right? So I I talked about that video so many times. I don't have to talk about it here. I ma I made a video about it. So, but. That's a good example right there. And that video came out in 2019 before the pandemic happened. And I think I've mentioned that before too. So there was that. And uh, let me say this too. I was I was at the beach. And you, you hear, and there was like orcs right behind us. Right? But I was just laying down like this. They were right in front of me right here. And I was just going like this. Taking a tan and sleeping basically. I kept hearing them about the whole Biden or Trump shit, and it's like, oh, well, Kamara Hara, this and that. Um, they were just talking about that, well, <laughs> it, these orcs just talking about certain stuff that I'm just laughing about because I'm just like, yeah, okay. Because, some, because I, I mean, they didn't believe in Kamala Hara at all. They all thought that, nah, she's not going to get nothing. <laughs> I'm like, ha, <laughs> uh, And then... Some people said, oh, Biden wins and shit like that. This shit's going to go to the ground and shit like that. And uh, I think there were Trump supporters or some shit. Uh, they could have been. I don't know. Uh, but I don't give a fuck. I was just laughing my ass off because in my own head, I was literally telling myself, I'm like, you guys are talking about people that are dead. They're not alive anymore, man. They're not alive anymore. Maybe I don't know about Kamala Harris, to be quite honest with you, because I don't look at her at all. I ignore her ass, because every time I see her, I want to punch her. <laughs> Not literally, but sometimes I just, like, get off my screen type of shit. It's like, I'm going to turn it off. You can see the corruptness coming right out of her off the screen, which is hilarious. Not to say you can't, do, you can't see that from the other ones, but with her, it's flat out. And if no one can't see that shit, then you're gullible, man. You're flat out gullible. You're really that gullible. Oh, I just see a nice lady smiling and all that. I'm like, that's a... Oh, yeah, but these, but this fat bastard does it too, and you hate him. Oh, the lesser evas. Man, fuck you if those lesser evas type shit. So, you know, kiss my ass with that shit. Because all of them deserve to be hung. But they're not around anymore. They're not around anymore. The reason I say that is because... They don't look like they're there anymore, guys. No, but I was there and all that shit. I'm not gonna fucking... Why well, I should believe you, man. These people have technology that you can't even fathom, but I'm not saying blue be I mean, was it blue beam or some shit like that? I'm not talking about that stuff. I'm talking about, like... Like, they can literally make a hologram or CGI that shit. Or even... Use AI. Why do you think they, they release the AI stuff? They gave it to you automatically right now because they're using that shit right now. It's like the movie um, Matrix. When eventually you found out that everything's run by machines, man. And that happened a long time ago. Like, once they fizzled out, all the machines just took over, dude. There's just robots running this shit now. From what I'm seeing... Not to say there's no, you know, reptilians and all that stuff around. They're trying to get out, which is why they're using a computer to destroy shit. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Because that's what's happening, right? And I'm sure some of them are staying there to make sure the computer doesn't fuck up or some shit. I don't know. I don't know. Most likely. I mean, would you? Would you have someone there? Some people might say no because, oh, I've got to get out of here too. You know, but, um, hey, man, that's, that, that's, that's their problem, not mine. I'm not a wicked motherfucker that decided to fucking, um, go into a planet and start slaughtering and raping and killing people and eating them. It wasn't me. All right. Karma is going to be dealt with no matter what. Not that long ago, I see these freaking cops fucking, like, being really, really, really scared. I'm dead serious. I never seen such fear in their eyes, man. When they were here, they were grabbing like cable or some shit. I'm over here like, okay, what, what, what? You broke or something? <laughs> you, you, you broke right there. 
And yeah, it was an orc. I was over like, you're good? Why are you picking wire off the ghetto? Shouldn't someone else do that? And then someone, some guy kept saying, there's a copper, there's a copper. And the cop was like fucking terrified. His face was terrified. I looked at the, I looked at him. He didn't look at me, obviously. But he looked at the other dude. He looked at him in horror. And the other dude looked like he was fucked up on drugs. <laughs> I'm dead serious, man. And, he, and the, this and this fucking cop was scared of him. Because they know what time it is, guys. They know what time it is. If you haven't been paying attention, then I don't know what to tell you. If they're acting like this now, that's how you know we're close. Everyone's notified but us. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Everyone. Everyone is fucking notified. Everybody. Except for your so-called color people. The one, the so-called Afro people. Basically. We're the only ones that are not notified. Everyone else is. Why? Because they know what's going to happen to us. They know exactly what's going to happen to us. And when that happens to us, we're going to go straight to them. Because that's what they put in their Bible. We don't know the time, place, or, or, or whatever. Because we're because shout out to a serious temple because that's what Anunnaki's do. All right, we're not gonna tell you the time and place that we're gonna get you, but we will tell you we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. <coughs> Just like that one episode of Family Guy, when Brian tells Stewie, "I'm going, I got, I'm going to get you payback. I get you, I get you back," and Stewie's like, "Okay." Well, you can get me now. Well, you can get me now. And then, and then all of a sudden, there was a long span of time that you know nothing happened. So Stewie's like, "Oh, okay. I guess he's not gonna really do anything." And all of a sudden, Brian just pushes him, and Stewie hits a fucking bus. <laughs> uh, you see, that's how we are. All right. And the thing is, man, you guys are locked up in here, man. You locked up in this planet. You locked up here, and you suspect to have people to have your back. You expect some of your own kind to have your back. When some some of these people out here, some of these other orcs, are going to be so pissed off at you that this is happening to them because you decided to come here and destroy your planet, and you didn't notify all these other people because you were scared of your demise. You didn't even you didn't notify anybody about how how you were basically cheating other people basically you had like secret organizations and secret people and shit like that not to say not not to say other orcs did not knew knew this i'm not saying that but i'm sure some of them were not notified and then they were like what and i'm sure their grandparents knew but they didn't say shit but their probably parents knew and they didn't say shit because they were getting trouble in, in this society they would in this day and age, them saying that, oh, they hate color people and shit like that, <laughs> they will get slaughtered. Not literally, but they'll get literally messed up in, in like everything. They will literally get messed up. Why do you think they try to not to talk about that politically and shit like that? And then when they do talk about politi politically about it, people go ape shit and crazy and they'll be like, let's not vote for this person or let's not go for this person. Fuck that person. And then all the people that all racist go over there and they'll be like, yes, make America white again. <laughs> uh, because that was that was Trump's job, man. He did a good job to divide the nation. He did. He divided the nation. That was his job. And he completely he completely succeeded in my opinion. Even when I knew that he was quote unquote trying to well, when he was fighting these wicked ones, basically, but he didn't care about us. I don't care what no one says. He still didn't give a fuck about us. All right. Uh, he he only like he only likes people when they kiss his ass. Okay, this is this is a rich boy we're talking about. Have we forgotten? <laughs> this is a rich boy here. Okay, I got it from his daddy, I believe. Well, from what we've heard, right? So can't even talk about that because <laughs> it's just what we heard. It's not what we know. We know a little bit of history about his families and stuff like that. Like his grandfather with Nikola Tesla or some shit. So I think I'm even wrong about that because I keep forgetting it's either a grandfather or uncle. It freaking kills me sometimes. Um, but that's it. Um, I mean, the video is not 
I'm not ending the video right now, but I will say this. The the time for the time for us to do what we need to do is nine. It is. It's very it, it, the time for what we need to do is very close, guys. It's very close. There's no there's no way out for these beings, man. There isn't. There's no way out for them. There isn't a way out for them. And even they think that they can have a way out, they're not going to have a way out. I guarantee you, if you if they even find if they even try to find a way, all of a sudden some other being will come out of there and kick their ass. And then they're gonna be surrounded. Because no one does not want them to get out of this planet. They want them to suffer. They want them to suffer. No one is not gonna. No one's. Not, no one's not gonna let you um, go, guys. No one's not gonna let you wicked ones go. No one's not gonna let you go. You know why? Because we're gonna make sure that we dealt with you. Okay. You can call your friends all you want. We deal with them too. Okay? You know? And then other people that have been calling us and we've been having we haven't been helping those people, man. That's that that's the one thing that we're supposed to do, man. People call us to help us and we're not doing our job. Even as a kid, I always said that, oh, I want to help somebody and shit like that, basically. So, there's a reason why we resonate, resonate to these superhero movies and stuff like that. Because we used to do that shit, man. Alright? And, it, it's, it's gonna be funny, too. All these other beings, these, or, well, these orcs, basically. These form, of, these versions of these orcs haven't seen the, us doing what we are doing. Haven't seen what what we do in the Asteron, basically. They haven't seen what the forefathers saw, basically. And in a way, we're learning all of this shit too, but it's all gonna come back to us in a way. So we won't really be like, oh, I forgot. No, it's just, you're gonna be like, oh, I remembered all of this stuff. Cool. It was just a, it's almost like you didn't really forget. You know, yeah, you forgot, but you it was it was dormant. It was a sleeping memory, basically. That's what it is. It's a sleeping memory. And when you remember all your past lives and stuff like that, then when you unlock your abilities and stuff like that. Especially when you get older and more evolve and all that stuff, things more unlock more and everything like that. You, you see it in Avatar. When Aang gets older, he just becomes like... Like... Oh, it's amazingly how powerful he is once he becomes older. It is ridiculous. And he's not even in his... He's not even in elderly yet. <laughs> and he's like in his, what, 40s? When you see him, how strong he is, you'd be like, what the fuck? If he's that strong, I can imagine when he gets old, old, old. You know, if he never died, basically. And that would be crazy. Like, imagine old Aang from Avatar The Last Airbender. Just old as heck, but still as, has all his abilities and they're strong as hell. Like, the more you get older, the stronger it is, basically. You know? So, and that's how it should be anyways, man. You keep evolving, you keep you keep going and going and going and going and keeps getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger, you know? So, it even does that in, you know, it even, that even happens when you die and then come back, basically, you know? But we're not supposed to die anyways, so there's that. So, that that's the best thing that's going to happen to us soon. And right now, our bodies are literally transforming. Already, the the magnetic fields of the planet has been destroyed. They've been gone. They're do they're gone. They're literally gone. They're gone. Have you been watching Kali's videos? They're they're literally gone, man. They're literally gone. When you tell anyone this, they're gonna be like, no, because the planet's supposed to, um, you know, fucking uh, what is it, um, exp like explode or some shit, or heat up to the point that everything um melts or some some shit like that. Because they're listening to fucking these fucking stupid motherfucking people. And don't want to be fucking smart and fucking read a book. You have a computer. 
read something, learn something. How about meditate within and question a lot of things, and then you get these answers from your higher self, man. You even get the you can't even get these answers from the cosmic mom herself if you can't find it. Seriously. So that's just me, man. You, you know, that's just me. So how should I conclude this video? All I have to say is, guys, that we, we th this is, this is not ever going to happen again. This is never going to happen again. I'm telling you this right now. It's never going to happen again. These, what, what we went through for these motherfuckers, from what we went through from these, from these guys, we're not going through it again, because we already been through that. All right, we've been the lowest. We've been the lowest of the low. Now, all we can go is up. Now, man, all we can go is up. All we can go is up. But there's still a lot of fucked up people around here, man. There is, but but they get dealt with when they get dealt with, and some of our own people, when. When their higher selves come in and stuff like that, they're gonna be like, "Holy crap, man! What, what the fuck?" You know, it's gonna be an interesting thing because some of them are gonna morph, man. We're gonna transform, and I already know that I'm gonna transform, man. When that day does come, man, it's just it's it's gonna when that time of the hour comes, it's gonna be something that these wicked ones cannot imagine. They can't because they don't have imagination. <laughs> uh. But they can't fathom it. They won't. Fa they can't fathom it. Once they see us, what? Once they see our true form of our higher selves as the titans, deities that we are, uh, de what would I like to say? It. We are cosmic deity titan and we're elemental titans. That's what we are. Cosmic deity elemental titans. That is what we are. And they even, like I said, they've killed us so many times to the point that we they, we have increased our number. We've increased our numbers so much. That's why they'd be like, oh, we got to get rid of the population. They're trying to kill. They, they, if they had it their way, they would destroy everybody on this planet. And then the planet would go through what she needs to go through. But the thing is, when she does, if they did kill her, kill us all off, and then the planet still does what she does, they, these beings would not be here. They would not be here. They would not be here. And then the new generation that she will make, a lot of people would, would be like, what happened? Like, nothing happened here. We just walked up and boom, it was fine. You know? Not to say we won't remember and all that, because astral realm and stuff like that, obviously. But I'm talking about the physical realm. But the, the thing is, it doesn't even matter with that because the, the the spiritual realm is going to the physical realm. So there's a lot of beings that's in the spiritual world that's just going to go to the physical, I mean, go to the, join to the physical anyways. Just go down there at, at that point because it would just be different. Because the planet is, is changing. It's changing to the point that it's becoming to the spiritual um, goddess that she needs to be because that's what she needs to be. She needs to be that. And that's where we're at. But now... Um, so, but now we're, we're up to the point that we're so powerful and so strong that these, that these motherfuckers can't, they, they can't deal with us, man. They can't deal with us. When that time comes, you guys will realize they cannot deal with us. We kicked their ass back then and we kicked their ass now. Okay. Nothing's going to change, man. Nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to change. Who's going to be the winner? of this and we know because the reason they won is because they're fucking goddamn motherfucking cheetos man they're cheat they're cheat it's like the, it's like the in the spongebob movie oh plankton won plankton didn't win he cheated he did these motherfuckers like to cheat that's why they'd be like oh we won haha <laughs> no you cheat you cheat because you can't win fairly you can't you can't fight a, a person one to one. You gotta use a gun. Oh, we had to use a gun against you because one one punch by you, we 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 be disintegrated and die. And I'm like, yeah, 
That's how it was supposed to happen. Get Try to get to our level. Oh, wait, you can't. So why are you here? You know? And then the people that still think that, oh, you know, we all won and stuff like that. And we're here like, you're going to find that out soon then. you all going to find that out soon. And you're going to find out that we all won shit still happens when all these other types of form of orcs try to, you know, literally kill you. All because you transform into a titan serpent. It depends what type of type of titan serpent you, you are, but you will transform, and some and some of us will be, some of us will look ferocious, man. And I bet you, you know how in some, you know how in some cartoons when someone transforms into a ferocious monster, they like cry and stuff like that, but the military goes after them still, and then they like just try to shoot them and kill them and shit like that, or experiment them and all that, but even though they can't at all. You know, it's like some people are probably going to go through that. But then there'll be some of all people that will talk to that person and be like, yo, you're, you're fine, man. You're fine. Even even your higher self would tell you that you're good, man. Seriously. Anything that anything that we probably would deny, a brother and sister would get, would, gotta, would, would get us. You know, if we stuck with something and all that stuff, you know, if we get scared or some shit like that. A brother and sister would, got us, basically. And then our higher self got us too at the same time. You know, you gotta, and then eventually you trusting yourself even more and more and more will really tru truly help. Because trusting yourself is the most powerful thing you could ever do. You know, I like I've said it before and I say it again. It's true. So, this is the Scar Clown signing off. Um, have a nice day. Um, take care of yourselves, guys. Seriously, take care of yourselves. And when this, when the time does come. To face these beings, just make sure that when you're out there, <laughs> when you're out there fighting them, just do it by your actions, not by words. Words are nothing anymore for these people. We can talk to them forever, and they still would do it. So every time they say something, pass the. You can make you can make fun of them if you want, I guess. But like I do. <laughs> but other than that, just take them out and move on. Seriously, move on. So it's like you playing a video game. You you're you're level fifteen, and all of these people are level one. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. So, <laughs> I'll see you guys and be safe. Come on. Okay.